Hello, welcome all. The, my name is Ray Sheikh, a crypto educator from Mumbai, India. With me today here is the CEO, the architect of this company, Mr. Ovidu. It's a pleasure talking to him today. So, good afternoon, sir. How are you today? Good afternoon. Thank you very much. So, see, crypto industry is all about innovation and new technology and new things. But it's always for the community. So, what does crypto data bring to the community? Actually, okay. I would say not the crypto industry, but I would say the entire blockchain industry. Absolutely, yes. Definitely, as we know, blockchain is an amazing technology that can be actually fitted into various industries. Uh, but talking about blockchain and how blockchain and crypto assets can help the users. Imagine where our approach is actually to implement blockchain as a technology into cybersecurity space. So that we can offer our users secured devices, secured environment for operating, such as our operating system, secure communication architecture, devices, validators, and of course rewards. Rewards which is actually blockchain-based assets. But considering we develop the technology ourselves, uh, we innovate, we build hardware, software, custom solutions and architecture, and on top of that, we actually reward our community with uh, actually the Cydus, which is our core network for our technology. Fantastic. I think that's amazing, and I think the community would love it. Now, I would like to know, since we are in India today, how is your look at the Indian market and the Indian people? Are you excited? What is the good news for India today? Definitely excited is not the word. Okay. Uh, I don't know which one is the word excited times 10. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, but it is amazing. Okay. Literally amazing. I find here an amazing community, both educated, IT educated, uh, very well understanding community, self-teaching. That is amazing. Uh, while in India, I got a lot of questions from our community. And definitely I would consider the Indian community all the time had the best questions on subject, the best and correct technical questions I was ever asked from our communities worldwide. So definitely the degree of understanding for the Indian community is a lot higher. Uh, they understand how to listen, they understand how to teach the others, they understand how to use technology, and they actually demand technology. And that is wonderful, and we feel here like uh, in no other country. On top of that, our Indian community grew up in the past four months as well like no other. So I am happy, I am honored, and I am humbled to be here in front of you guys. Thank you. Fantastic. That's a great thing. Now, one last question I would like to ask you. You also get involved with a lot of sports. So do you come from a sports background yourself? Because we've seen you bought a company called MotoGP recently, and we get to hear that you are also looking at some bringing some F1 events. Is a good news for the Indian market. And we also love sport. A lot of people we love different sports. Cricket is a good sport we love, but. I want to understand how this technology and sports fusion and uh, how, what is the you know what is the core idea behind it? Why do we do this? Definitely, our background as a hobby, as semi-professionals, we've been racing and we've been embracing sport when uh, we were younger. Both me and my business partner. So definitely, our uh, mind and our heart still stays with the sports. Uh, once we're successful in the business, definitely we have to grow worldwide. We have to expose our products worldwide our security services and our company. So what's uh, the best actually showcase for your products for being competitive in IT? You have to go in a competitive sport. True. Uh, that's actually how we got to choose MotoGP, uh, later Formula One, uh, probably for the 2023 season, uh, because it is global sport. It is uh, probably the best sport in, uh, in this field of motorsport. Definitely MotoGP and Formula One are best sports when speaking about motors. And uh, later for the next year, our approach is actually to uh, welcome or to get into the T10 and T20 uh, cricket leagues. Okay. Uh, even though we're not uh, cricket uh, players in Europe, uh, definitely cricket is not that popular as in India. We understand the importance of cricket in India. Uh, we understand that T10 and T20 leagues yes. are uh, amazing. True. And definitely we want to get also there involved. And we want to show the worldwide who we are. We are serious, we are here for a long run, for a long term vision and for serious products and services. So definitely, we love sports, we love India, we love technology, and this is the best best mixture. Fantastic. I think this, this is a great information for the Indian people. One last thing, because we understand that crypto data is all about security. So any security tip you'd like to give to our audience 
for the future or any particular device you'd like to recommend to them? How can they be rest assured that with your technology, they will have the best thing, they did not worry about hackers or spammers or scammers, and entire assets can be secure. So can you just throw some light um, on this subject? Actually, definitely I can throw some light on the subject, but in a few words, uh, the yeah. most important and the highest vulnerability in a computer like system, in a smartphone, is the operating system. If we use a regular multimedia operating system, it might be virus, hijacked, phished, uh, Trojan, and so on. Those, uh, those malicious apps collect unauthorized data and use them in bad faith. So first of all, the operating system is the most important. That is actually why we at CryptoData developed a secure operating system, which is not vulnerable to such kind of attacks, is not virusable, or so on. On top of that, in a regular IT architecture, we all the time rely on a third-party middleman. Okay. Let's consider emails. You do not send me an email. You send to the server, and the server sends it to me. True. Then the problem occurs. Right. The server might be, might be vulnerable, might lose data, might be hijacked, phished, scammed, or blackmailed. True. So then, in any IT architecture, relying on a middleman, on a third-party, it's actually a bad uh, approach. Okay. That's why we at CryptoData, actually, we developed our VOBP in which we do not rely on a middleman we generate and we exchange the encryption keys between the users. We signal and source the users, we put them in contact, and then the blockchain did their job. You do not rely on a middleman for communication. So as long as you send me a file, you are sure you send it only to me, not to a third-party middleman that might be hacked, okay. corrupted, or so on. Okay. So uh, basically in IT, uh, this is the most two important lessons, True. operating system and never trust the middleman. Fantastic. I think that's a lot of insights. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. you very Mr. much. And uh, I'm sure in the coming days you will bring a lot of new technologies to the Indian marketplace. And officially also we would love to see these products in stores and you know all around India because India needs a lot of products and with secure operating system. So thank you all for bringing these beautiful technologies. So. All of you, I mean, if you want to experience, you can go to the website and look at the products. And I think you will, one thing you will know about crypto data is this is a company with, is going to come with a lot of innovation in the future. So this is Rai Sheikh checking out. Uh, please follow the channel and the website. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.